Okay? And those plaques damage the cell, which then start an inflammatory process uh, in the cells next door called the microglia in order to clean up the process. And now you've got plaques and an inflammation, and now you've got neuronal cell death. That's dementia. So it starts with an ATP energy crisis, moves through plaque and inflammation to generate neuronal cell death. Well, this is problematic to say the least. And by the way, anything that generates ROSs has been associated with Alzheimer's. Anything that increases ATP utilization, like stress, glucocorticoids, fever, autoimmune disease, also increases Alzheimer's. So anything that increases step one, anything that increases step two, ultimately leads to increased step three and Alzheimer's. So to simplify this in a couple of sentences for someone that has no scientific understanding, and we're gonna have to cut a few corners here scientifically in order to, to for them to under, have a framework Understood. to understand it. How would you give me some sort of an analogy for it? Maybe in the context of, I guess, a petrol station and a car. Yeah, so I mean, if we're basically doing petrol, we're talking energy only. Yeah. Okay, so bottom line, your car runs on petrol, mm -hmm. okay? The petrol comes in, that's the glucose, and the engine, okay, powers pistons, and the pistons then power an axle, mm -hmm. and the axle then powers wheels, and you go. Yeah. Okay, 